do together badusha badusha is another one of sweet which you can make it very easily with small little bit of careful making you can enjoy this really well badusha is such uh, it's not a very sweet tea like kind of a, a sweet it's just normal like you know for uh, people who like me who don't like much of sweet you would really like this like it's very mild like and very nice and uh, tasty so let's start making this i have here one and a half cups of the all purpose flour to it i'm adding half teaspoon of the just normal sugar then i have here 3 tablespoon of milk it's less than quarter teaspoon okay of the baking soda half teaspoon of the baking powder half teaspoon okay half teaspoon of the baking powder and then just mix this well so that they get incorporated okay just give this one a mix you see how frothy it turns right let it and then mix it. Now I'm just showing for the dough. After I make the dough, I will show you the ingredients needed for the uh, other mix as well. Okay, that's for the syrup, sugar syrup. Now, when we are making the badusha, you tip number one for you is that we will not need like how we need our chapati dough hard like that. No, not like that. Okay, this we are going to only get the crumble. See when I catch like this, it's nicely getting mixed well. I'm not. putting pressure on the dough just moving my fingers round any direction that matter but only thing is just getting all this to the dough well okay about 2 tablespoon of the butter or alternatively you can use ghee also that's up to you 2 tablespoon a taken full 2 to 3 tablespoon as a taken 2 to 3 tablespoon you can add Okay. Even this also, just keep running around. Okay, crumble it up. See how the crumble like it is. This is how it should be. This only makes the layers inside. When you otherwise, what happens is when you make a chapati like and you do, it just comes as a rock like piece. It you will not have such kind of layer in inside. So that's the only reason. Okay. Now we we'll add this milk. Probably one more tablespoon if I want. I will add. Adding the milk also. If you see, I am not kneading the way what we need our chapati. Right? Just rotating my hands here and there. just ensuring and just bringing this dough together if you notice you see how i am mixing it i am not mixing punching just bringing it together by pressing my five fingers together only close it and keep rest it for 10 minutes One cup of the sugar, half cup of water, few drops of the lemon juice. I'm just squeezing about one small piece of the lemon. Okay, and some cardamom powder. Boil this well till you get a thick string like. Now I have let it boil. See, it's boiling well. I'm going to take a little bit. Very hot. Be careful. Just ensure there is no heat. See the string here. See the string. That's what I am looking at. One string. Okay. In another one more minute, that string will come. Don't go overboard that because then it will become hard.
see how it is coming that small string like that much is enough round this okay shape don't worry about this kind of up and down this is what you need for your uh, padusha oil is getting heated in the meanwhile there see now there is a little bit of ups and downs like so if i press it up full it will turn its shape uh, the texture of the uh, badusha so that's the only reason that i don't want the badusha to become like that so then make a hole in the center like this like how we make for our vada like like that okay once the oil is medium hot we will put this into the oil see the heat has to be very low okay heat should not be very high because this has to get cooked in very very low flame only then the inner portions will get cooked well that's one thing you have to be very very careful because they are little big like not like our vada they are light right see they have dents inside and they are little hard to get cooked fast Nice golden line. Now, when I put, let's put the next one. I'm going to add this one to the. And to show another three more coming. Let them be happen by then. I can just start to soak these. So we have made the badusha. The badusha got soaked very well. Let me show you how the container looks. See how it's soaked, and it's very less of the sugar is there. That's all. The rest, everything is absorbed well. Don't go by the hour of absorbing. Leave it in the sugar syrup and let it nicely absorb it, and then you may do the plating or you may start enjoying it after once the sugar syrup is gone in well. So this is how we have made the badusha. Try making this time for Diwali. You are going to really enjoy this. Happy cooking and happy eating. Bye bye.